Hey everyone, in today's video we will see implementation of Adaboost classifier algorithm from scratch in Python. In the end of this video we will also see how to use this model in SKLR and package. So Adaboost is a short for adaptive boosting and it's a machine learning meta algorithm boosting technique that uses weak learners in order to form a strong learner. By definition, a weak learner is such one that achieves a slightly better accuracy than a guess on a distribution over a set of points. So for example, for a dataset with two classes, it will be enough if the model will give us prediction with accuracy just a little bit more than 50%. So let's first go over the algorithm and then we will see its implementation. So for input, um, we get a dataset D that contains the features A and the labels C, a base learner L, and a number of learning iterations T. The first step is to initial equal weights to all of the training examples. So for each weight WI, its value is 1 divided by the number of samples in dataset. Now for the training process, we have a loop that will be executed t times. Step A is to train a base model HD. So in the algorithm, they use only sample uh, DT to train the base model and then update only WI. But in the code, I will be training the base model each iteration on all of our data set. So after training the model, we compute the error of the base model. So first we get the predictions for uh, the base model we just created and compare with the ground truth. And then we take the opposite value of what we get. So if we get that the prediction was equals to the ground truth, the incorrect function output is zero and not one. And if the predicted value was not equal to the ground truth, that function output is one, which means that we are going to give penalty only to the incorrect predictions. Then we multiply that value with a relevant weight and sum all the values and divide it by uh, the sum of all the weights. And that will be the model error. So now we can compute the weight of model HD. So that will be the log of one minus the error divided by the error. See that as the error of this model increases, the weight will be small. Thus, we won't trust too much on its prediction. This way, we will get the opinion of all the base models that we will train with their relevant weights. Okay, the last step is to update the weights. So after we're done training the model, the prediction function will be the sign of the sum of all base models predictions that we trained multiplied by their weights. So that was the pseudo code of the algorithm. Now let's see it in Python. So first we import um, NumPy, uh, Pandas, Scalar and Model Selection and the Season 3 classifier that will be our base model. Now let's go over Adaboos classifier class. So uh, in the init function, we get the base learner and t the number of iterations. Uh, the feed function gets the dataset for training, x train and y train. Then we initial w as array of the size n, the number of samples in the training set with the value one divided by n. We also set empty lists for the base learner and their weights. Now we start the loop with training the base model on our dataset and add it to the base learner's list. 
then we calculate the incorrect value in which we compare the prediction of the base model with the ground truth. And then we take the opposite value. So that's why we add the one minus in the beginning. Then we multiply each value of the incorrect um, list with its weight and sum all the values and divide it with the sum of all the weights. Now in step C, we calculate the best learner weight that will indicate how much we trust the model. So for large error, the weight will be smaller. And in step D, we update the weights with the previous weight multiplied with the exponential value of the model's weights multiplied by the incorrect list. Now, the predict function gets a list of samples and return their predictions. So first, I get all the predictions uh, from all the base learners. Then, in order to be able to do some matrix multiplication, we convert YPred's list to a NumPy array and also the model's weights, which we also reshape a little bit. Then we get the final predictions by taking the sign of the multiplication between the model's predictions and their weights. And in the end, I added flatten to flat the response to one dimensional array for convenience. And then we have the predict function where we compare the ground truth with the predicted values and return the accuracy. And that's it. So now we can test the model. So this time I'm going to use the diabetes data set from Kaggle. So after reading the data and changing the zero labels to minus one, because Adabu's predictions values are of one and minus one for classification. Uh, and then we split the data into train and test sets. Then we define a base learner as a decision tree with max depths of three, uh, and then define the Adibus classifier with the base learner and the number of iterations to be 100. And then we can just feed the model on our train data sets. Um, once the training is done, you can get the accuracy with the test set. And that's pretty much it. Now let's see how you can use this model from sklearn Python package. So from sklearn ensemble import Adabus classifier and uh, define the model with the estimator you choose. So in my case, I chose the same base learner as before and number of estimator also to be uh, 100. And then we feed the classifier on the training data and evaluate the model on the taste dataset to get the model accuracy score.